I will explain and code the Mixture of Experts model today. A Mixture of Experts is a powerful ensemble method in deep learning. Recently, it received a buzz because a rumor has that GPT-4 uses a mixture of experts. As always, I will focus on a simplified version of the topic to assure clarity. So, what exactly is this mixture of experts? Imagine having multiple specialized neural networks, each good at a specific task. Now, based on the input data, could we decide which network or expert we should use? That's precisely what a mixture of experts does. In the mixture of experts, we utilize multiple experts along with a gating network. The gating network's role is to determine the contribution of each expert for a given input. Think of a gating network as a traffic controller, guiding data to the appropriate expert or experts. Rather than exclusively choosing a single expert for each input, the gating network allocates responsibilities among experts probabilistically. This means that for a specific input, the gating network might decide to combine insights from multiple experts, assigning different weights or importance levels to each expert. Stick till the end of this video because we are now going to discuss the implementation. We start by importing the necessary libraries. We are using PyTorch to build our neural networks. Next, we define our expert model. This is a simple neural network with two layers. We use the ReLU activation function after the first layer and a softmax after the second layer. The expert is suitable for classification tasks. Later, we will create three experts using just this model definition. Here is our gating network. Of course, it is slightly more complex with more layers than the expert model. The output dimension of the gating network is equal to the number of experts because this gating network assigns weights to each expert based on the input data. Now we have our mixture of experts class. It uses a gating network to decide how to weigh the outputs of multiple expert networks, depending on the input. This allows the mixture of experts to leverage the strengths of each expert, providing more flexible and potentially more accurate predictions. And now that we have an idea about the neural network models we will be using, let us discuss our experimental setting. We will create three experts. We will train them to solve a classification problem. Purposefully, expert 1 will be efficient at classifying class levels 0 and 1. Expert 2 will be good at classifying class levels 1 and 2. And expert 3 will be able to classify class levels 2 and 0 well. That is, a single expert is not trained to be good at classifying all three class levels. We will use the three experts as pre-trained models of course, which we will be training. And then we will train a mixture of experts that will learn how to weigh the expert decisions for better results based on new inputs. Let us create a synthetic dataset of 5,000 samples and four features. We are making sure that there are three class levels, level zero, level one, and level two. Overall, we make sure to create data chunks for three experts in such a way that they see more of two levels and less of the other level. That way, we make sure that their expertise varies. Out of 5,000 samples, we will use the first half for experts training only. The next half of the data will be used for training and testing of the mixture of experts. We initiated the three experts and trained them using the data chunks we designed. For the mixture of experts, we send the three already trained experts as parameters. Through the grading network, the mixture of experts will check what these three networks are saying about each sample and compare the predicted outcomes of the experts with the target level. Based on that, the mixture of experts will learn how to weigh the experts' decisions for different inputs. It's pretty simple but quite elegant. The mixture of experts eventually trains the gating network. Now the testing part. The testing is done with data that none of the neural networks saw before, obviously. Notice the accuracies for expert 1, expert 2, 
expert three and the mixture of experts the mixture of experts has the highest accuracy the mixture of experts tried to best utilize the three experts and the mixture of experts performed the best the individual experts were performing mediocre but the mixture of experts combined the experts opinions to provide more accurate outcomes when you work on deep learning projects many times you may observe that for different types of samples different models perform better choosing one over the other models is really difficult who said you have to choose one practically you can create a mixture of experts to get results better than any individual expert in our code the three experts had the same architecture but in your code three experts may have different architectures a mixture of experts can be a lot more complex than what we discussed today it can be even a mixture of many mixtures of experts that can be a topic of another day see you soon in another video